Uh, dear colleagues from Baltic states, thank you for joining our webinar. It's the second time this week I say hello to all of you. To, for whom today is the first uh, webinar with us and who haven't met me before, my name is Simona and I will accompany the presentation today which is dedicated to a very nice and very romantic uh, island, Crete. I'm glad to present that today with us we have Yekaterina from Greece, from our DMC office, which takes care of our clients in destination. I know that she has prepared a nice uh, presentation with much useful information to share with you. And as always, we're looking forward to your questions, which we will answer after the presentation. So, dear Yekaterina, uh, now you can start your presentation. So, hello, good morning, dear colleagues. My name is Yekaterina. I'm a reservation manager for Crete in Canoas Travel. Uh, topic today's of webinar is Crete, its resorts and hotels. We will introduce you to the hotels, which uh, we believe are going to be the most popular and the mo uh, top selling in 2021 in Crete. You will discover in this presentation Crete regions, its food, customs and traditions. Uh, Crete is uh, the popular holiday destinations for all categories of tourists. And I hope after today's webinar, you will love this magical island as we do and uh, you will offer it more for your clients and friends. So, um, Crete is the largest island uh, and have coastline of 1046 kilometers. Let's have a look on the map. It's situated um, in two climate zones, the Mediterranean and North African, and it has uh, 300 sunny days a year. It's surrounded by three seas, the Mediterranean, the Cretan and the Libyan Sea. And it has the highest number of blue flag beaches um, uh, here in this island. Also, it's the place of birth of Minoan civilization. And uh, the Minoan civilization um, plays a significant role in the world history as uh, Minoans built the first civilization in Europe. Uh, also, the Crete is famous uh, for his um, cuisine. I think uh, if you've been uh, in Crete, you already try a lot of uh, different um, dishes. And, um, you know, it's traditional uh, Cretan uh, cuisine is healthy and very fresh based on fruit, vegetables, herbs and also goat meat. So you. Uh, have to recommend uh, your tourists to visit uh, local taverns, fish taverns, and th there are a lot of um, fresh and tasty food in Crete. And um, here you can see one slide about the custom and traditions. It's a um, very famous island for custom and traditions, and they have their own um, dances, they have um, um, they're very hospitality and friendly and uh, also they have um, a lot of archaeological sites so in um, and see some of them here on this picture the most uh, famous as you know is the Knossos Palace and many archaeological artifacts are in the uh, Heraklion Museum so let's um, have a look again to the map of the Crete Island. It consists of uh, four regions, Heraklion, La City, Resimno and Hanya. The first region I would like to talk about is Heraklion. is um, the largest city and the administrative capital of the island. Uh, here is um, located Heraklion Airport. Um, Nikos Kazadzakis and um, hotels in Raklion are very diverse. If you are looking for vivid nightlife and beaches with many bars and clubs, then you have to recommend um, to your tourists uh, Hirsonisos, Malia, 
uh, Guvis, Stalis, and for family destinations and for tourists who are looking more for relaxed and beach holidays, it would be suitable. Aie Pelagia, Amudara, Guvis, and uh, Kokinihani. So let's start to look at some hotels um, we would like to present in this uh, webinar. So the first one hotel is a Blue Agent Suits, is located in the popular uh, resort area of uh, Kato Guvis. It's 14 kilometers from Rakran Airport and uh, 50 meters from the public beach. For different room types, such as double room, triple junior suite, one bedroom. One bedroom, you can uh, see the picture on this slide. It um, consists um, of large bedroom with a king size bed, a separate living room, a fully equipped kitchen, and uh, bathroom, spacious balcony, and um, it can accommodate uh, three adults plus two children. So this hotel it will be suitable for um, large families. And another hotel is a, the again is Blue Palace for Stars Hotels. is located the, also in Kato Guvis, 17 kilometers from Rakhine Airport, uh, directly on the beach. It consists of four buildings. Each building has uh, four floors. Uh, hotel works on all-inclusive basis and offer variety of Great and Mediterranean dishes. Mm. Greek uh, for entertainment, they offer Greek nights, uh, cooking shows, karaoke nights, and um, this hotel we also recommend for uh, family holidays. One more hotel in uh, Kato Guvis we would like to present is a uh, Guvis Water Park, five stars hotel, 17 kilometers from Rakhine Airport and 300 meters from the sandy beach. It's uh, very big hotel, I would like to say, and they uh, have um, 30 buildings and uh, 360 rooms. Goose Water Park offers five large swimming pools and uh, three separate swimming pools for children, two sharing pools and three water parks for all ages. The rooms are very spacious and well equipped and um, it's also good choice for uh, um, tourists who uh, traveling go with uh, families. The next hotel is um, the hotel or the chain Greek Hotel. I think you are familiar with um, a Greek Hotel Resorts and uh, Miranda's uh, Greek Hotel Resort is a luxury boutique hotel and is located in Guvis, 18 kilometers from Rakion Airport, directly on the beach. And um, here you can find a lot of uh, different rooms uh, for all kinds of categories in the very high quality resort. And um, also um, in all Greek hotels, there is a special program for kids. It's um, Grecoland and it was developed uh, to educate uh, children during the holidays um, about Greek culture, its history and natural environment. So um, it's like a concept of the Greek hotels for um, all Greek hotels is uh, um, the children have the fun separate and uh, um, parents have also uh, can have relaxed holidays. Uh, Grecoland is um, activities for children from 4 to 12 years old and uh, also uh, there is a um, Greco scene is uh, for um, uh, children from 13 until 17 years old. Uh, for example, if you have some request for uh, Greek hotels in general and um, the tourists are traveling with an infant or small babies, you can send us request for Greco Baby. It's in equipment which provided um, by hotel and also if there is any special request for meals uh, for children, you can also send it um, by request and we will um, take care about it. So the next hotel is the Sirita Beach Resort. 
is a five stars hotel and located on um, the sand purple beach in the village Anisaras. It's 30 kilometers from Iraqan airport directly on the beach. Uh, it uh, consists of main building with three floor and seven bungalows, two floors. There are 276 rooms in this hotel and um, it was uh, renovated in 2019. This hotel offers a big variety of room types. Um, it's ideal uh, place for family holidays with children. Kids uh, can enjoy animation um, and um, also water slides share in the hotel. Mm. There are different types of rooms, such as a garden view, double uh, standard rooms, and um, some uh, rooms in the main building uh, that can accommodate up for two uh, four people. So it could be also suitable for families with uh, two children. Um, the next hotel we would like to present is the Philoxenia Hotel Crete. It's a small uh, family hotel three stars and uh, Philoxenia, if you translate it from Greek, Greek, it means hospitality. So this is small hotel have 76 rooms. It's like two blocks, uh, standard rooms and family rooms, apartment that can accommodate up to four people. This hotel was renovated in um, 2018 and the, um, it could be also suitable for people who are looking for uh, a vivid nightlife and some bars and clubs in Malia because this hotel is um, in the center of Malia. Okay, the next region would like to present is um, La City region in the east part of um, Crete. So you can see the map here. And um, this uh, region has um, different um, beautiful beaches like in all Crete Island. So the most famous here is Ilunda, Sisi, Agios Nikolos and uh, Sitia. Um, the, pl uh, the places, especially Ilunda, it's here, uh, have a lot of luxury spa resorts and also, you can find some uh, family apartments and studios, but um, mostly this uh, part is um, famous for luxury resorts. Ayus Nikolos is um, uh, capital of the city. It's a beautiful city uh, on Mirabella Bay. It's the largest bay in Crete. Uh, today, Ayus Nikolos is one of the most popular tourist resorts in Crete. Agis Nikos is an ideal place for relaxing and romantic walks. It has his beautiful uh, port also. And um, would like uh, to present some luxury hotels in this part of the webinar. The first one is Dius Cuff Luxury Resort and Villas. Um, this hotel has all the facilities to accommodate demanding guests. It's suitable for relaxing break and also for family holidays. It is a luxury. It has a um, very good and luxury spa with the excellent services. And um, this hotel is located on the hill, so it has very beautiful panoramic view. As you see on this picture, here is the beach of the hotel. It's uh, beautiful, sandy and uh, white. The next hotel is also luxury hotel, uh, Domus of Lunda Autograph uh, Collection. is located directly on the private sandy beach with a uh, crystal clear water. It's a part of uh, Marriott, so the standards of this hotel are very high. It's suitable for uh, relaxing calm holidays and uh, can offer accommodation for big families and uh, also will be suitable for romantic holidays and for couples. Next hotel is located in the Ayos Nikolos in the center of the city, directly on the beach. 
Minos Beach Art Hotel, five stars. It's a um, boutique luxury hotel, the member of small luxury hotels of the world. And, um, and this hotel has a sandy beach, um, um, not very big hotel, and every every room is in a different um, style. That's why it's a boutique hotel. And um, it's suitable for couples mostly, and um, sometimes uh, for uh, families. So this hotel has also different uh, restaurants, five restaurants, three bars, and um, a lot of uh, rooms with um, private swimming pools. Next hotel is Kanzia Park Village. It's uh, also located in Agios Nikolos, two, uh, two and a half kilometers. And um, this hotel is four stars. Very nice hotel and we recommend it for uh, family holidays. Um, it built uh, in the village style and uh, have a central clock square and have a cafe neo and um, the beach very nice and uh, sandy with a uh, surrounding with the pines. Uh, rooms are uh, equipped with a kitchen. So it's a very nice option for uh, families and um, for big families because there are many rooms with um, two bedrooms in this hotel. So the next hotel I would like to present is the Lunda Bay Palace. It's, uh, it's, uh, this hotel is a world famous hotel and it's located in Ilunda. Um, Ilunda is a region, it's 11 kilometers from Agios Nikolos and uh, has very beautiful crystal clear beach, sandy beach. This hotel is um, uh, located directly on the beach uh, with a beautiful view to uh, Spinalonga Island and um, it uh, meets every expectation now with a, uh, with a variety of rooms for every taste. Here you can see some rooms and um, it offers accommodation that's um, from standard rooms uh, to uh, villas and residences. Every room or bungalow is very speci uh, special and um, can some rooms uh, can accommodate up to six people. So you can recommend this hotel for luxury holidays, for demanding guests and uh, for family holidays. The next hotel is Elunda Beach Resort, is next to Elunda Bay. Um, and uh, this hotel has a very large green area. It offers guest rooms, villas, suites and residences. It, it has also very beautiful and uh, excellent spa center. Uh, suitable for uh, relaxing holidays and also for holidays uh, with children. So the next hotel is uh, Greco Tenmali Palace, um, is uh, located in Sisi village. Sisi is a fisherman village and uh, there are so many um, taverns in this village with a fresh fish. You can recommend it to your tourists. So the uh, Greek Hotel Meli Palace, a member of Greek Hotel chain, um, it's located two kilometers from Sisi village in walking distance. And um, it's uh, uh, located directly on the sandy beach, have very beautiful green territory. This hotel works on all inclusive basis, uh, so it's uh, very convenient for holidays so with children because um, they offer different um, um, meals also for kids for um, babies like in all Greek hotels and um, a very nice animation program for all all uh, for adults and for kids also here you can see some rooms very beautiful beach and uh, I'd like to say that in Greek Hotel Meli Palace, it's like a 
private beach because it's in the bay and uh, with a, a beautiful view to the small island. And it's um, very relaxed and calm holidays. The next um, region we would like to present is uh, Resimno. Resimno is more quiet and has a lot of uh, uh, relaxing places. So um, Bali, here is a Bali, Adelianus Campos, Panormos, Potanias are the most uh, tourist developed beach places. It's on the north side uh, and um, Aya Galini, it's here. Aya Galini, Plakias, uh, it's um, on the south south side are um, suitable for family holidays. Uh, so the Resimno is uh, famous for its Venetian and Turkish uh, appearance. It's a very romantic place and um, uh, Resimno town is the capital and commerce center of Resimno. Um, have a very beautiful Venetian port. So um, you have to recommend uh, all your tourists to visit Resimno, even if they not um, uh, they not live in Resimno, they can have excursion and come to visit this beautiful town. The first hotel we would like to present in this region is Atrium Ambience Hotel. This is uh, this hotel operates as adults only hotel and located in the heart of uh, Resimno town. 80 kilometers from Rakhran airport and uh, 100 meters from the beach. It offers highest level of friendly environment services and guest hospitality. This hotel uh, was renovated and um, if you would like to book renovated rooms, so you have to uh, choose um, uh, superior rooms and um, junior suits executive suits and then they was renovated and they offered to executive suits they offered a private outdoor jacuzzi so it's a modern hotel and very suitable for romantic holidays <coughs> and for couples the next hotel is atali grand resort located in bali village 33 kilometers from resimno it's uh, also a new re renovated hotel and um, has a big territory. Uh, work on all-inclusive basis and um, it offers outdoor activities, games uh, for young and old, oldest guests during the stay and um, have very good uh, animation team in speaking in uh, different languages. Also, they provide spa services like massage and um, treatments. So we recommend this hotel for family holidays and also for couples. The next hotel is Resemna Village. Resemna Village is a three stars hotel and uh, it builds in a modern style, located in uh, Platanes uh, village, and it's very calm. I mean, calm, but uh, the infrastructure, infrastructure, uh, touristic infrastructure, is uh, uh, developed in this region. So it's 150 meters from the public beach, and um, the most important that it, this hotel was um, renovated uh, in 2020. It has 137 rooms, it's uh, small enough and it would be very good for families. The next hotel is um, the Artemis Palace. It is a um, comfortable and uh, friendly hotel, provides cozy rooms and nice bar. It uh, has a um, restaurant who offer, uh, where offer Greek and Mediterranean dishes. 
the hotel consists of 245 rooms and um, also offer spa um, center, a gear spa center with the different treatments and beauty treatments. And in this hotel, you, they have also animation program like aerobic, aqua gymnastic, yoga, pilates and evening entertainment program. Next hotel is um, three stars hotel um, Dolphin Lisa Marie. It's located 80 meters from Bali village and consists of seven different buildings which has name after Greek islands Sandorini, Crete, Mykonos, Milos, Paros, Eos and they also have annex apartment which is situated on the beach. It's a small hotel, it has only 100 rooms and um, very beautiful ter green territory surrounded by the gardens. They have um, There are many shops and restaurants and bars within a walking distance from the hotel. And um, in 2019, in this hotel were added superior rooms. So these rooms are fully renovated and new. The uh, next hotel is uh, also from the chain Greek Hotel, Creta Palace, is ideal hotel for families and um, for um, located directly on the beach, four kilometers from Rethymna town and 79 kilometers from Iraqan airport. It has variety of rooms from bungalow to villas that can accommodate up to six adults and two children. We recommend this hotel for family holidays and um, also here you can uh, send a request for Greco baby and be sure that the kids will have fun during the holidays and parents have relaxed and uh, calm holidays also. So the next hotel is um, Greek Hotel Marine Palace and Aqua Park is located 25 kilometers from Resimno, also the member of Greek Hotel chain. It works on all inclusive, uh, all inclusive and um, um, have Aqua Park, this hotel. So it's uh, Mostly you can recommend these hotels for families with children and they will have fun for sure in this hotel because it's very large aqua park, uh, 6,000 square meters and um, here is the best uh, diving center in Crete located uh, near this hotel. Um, the beach is sandy and it was awarded by blue flag. Total rooms is uh, 426, so it's a um, quite big hotel and uh, offer very nice and spacious rooms. So you can recommend this hotel for family holidays. Next hotel is uh, from the chain Iberostar. Iberostar Creta Marine is uh, located um, from uh, three kilometers from Panama and 18 kilometers from uh, Rethymna town. Uh, it has in total 361 rooms. Some of them are in main building and um, they also have um, bungalows. It's a um, very unique hotel and um, located on the beach, in the sandy beach. Um, you can see from this slide some rooms. Next to Ibero Star Creta Marine, there is a hotel Creta Panorama, also from the same chain. Uh, this resort is uh, located on the first line with a large green area. Um, in this hotel, um, we offer the offer a very active animation for in all languages, um, and um, the main contingent of this hotel is um, Europeans. This hotel was built um, in 
1997, but it was renovated in 2008. And they also do every year some um, small renovations. So you can see the rooms are very, very clean and very fresh. Uh, the hotel is quite big, have a very um, green territory and it has 454 rooms in total and six pools. So the last region of the Crete Island is Hanya. Hanya is the westernmost side of Crete. It's a wonderful place for vacations and it's offered beautiful town. Some of the most beautiful beaches in Greece are located here. And um, it has the their own magic in uh, Hanya town. Um, the most famous beaches that are located here is a Balos, Falasernam and Elephonisi. And on this picture you can see this is a Balos um, beach. V um, famous beach all over the world and uh, from top beaches is um, number one to visit. So even if um, your tourists are um, have their holidays in uh, Iraqian region or in Resimno, they can choose um, to go to Hanya with us um, and they can um, book excursion because it's um, this place is so worth to see and visit. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have too much hotels uh, in Hanya. Of course, if there are some requests for Hanya hotels, we can um, do it by own request and offer some different types of hotels and accommodation. But um, uh, because um, the, uh, the um, planes are arrived in Iraq airport and it's a little bit far from Hanya and the transfer takes long time, so it's better if some uh, clients and tourists they'd like to visit Hanya, they can book better excursions, go there and come back to their hotel. So they will not spend uh, too much time for uh, transferring from the airport to the hotel and from hotel to the airport. So I think that for my presentation, it's over. And um, if you have any questions, you can send us in um, the chat and um, we will be happy to answer your questions. Uh, yes, Ekaterina, thank you very much for your presentation and the review of the hotels. And it seems that Crest really has many options for different clients from those who prefer relaxing holidays in, in a hotel to those who really are more active and have plans to go around by uh, island. So uh, we can really move to the questions and answers part. Uh, we have got already some of them, and but you all have still some time to add something more. Uh, we can start um, from the first ones uh, and we had quite a lot of them about um, COVID situation in general. So where are, uh, the question, uh, where in Crete clients can make COVID tests before departure, how much it costs and do clients need to sit in self-isolation after arrival to Crete before we can enjoy their vacation. So uh, for now, um, as you know that uh, in Greece in the general lockdown till 25th of uh, January and uh, we are waiting for new information from the government how it's going to be for the future. Um, now, if someone would like to travel to uh, Greece, 
um, they have to do COVID test, but if they have to uh, fill also PLF form when they're arriving and show it at the airport. How it will be in summertime, we still don't know yet. And um, it, when we will have some updates, uh, we will let you know. So it will be like uh, correct information. For now, there is only a COVID test and that you should do 72 hours before arrival and show it on uh, arrival point and also um, PLF form. But um, there is also, okay, now they cannot travel from one part of Greece to another. If, for example, the tourists, they arrive to Athens, they should stay in this region. And, okay, how it's gonna be, it, we will let you know. Uh, thank you. Mm, yes, we really actually we all expect and we uh, think that uh, we will get information before the season starts and it will be a little a bit less requirements and less restrictions uh, compared with uh, the situation we are facing now. Uh, moving uh, forward to the questions. Uh, there is one about the uh, best money quality hotels. Uh, which hotels are the best money quality? I believe uh, it's a question about the mm, best ratio of the money and the quality, which you could recommend, like top five, for example. Uh, the hotels which we would recommend is uh, that uh, I present on uh, our presentation. It's um, Iberstar Hotels for sure. You can recommend it uh, for um, best money and quality. And uh, sometimes um, uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, special offers. So uh, in Greek hotels, um, for example, if you are looking for a best price, you can check uh, for early booking discount or sometimes there is different discounts uh, during the booking period. So it could be money and quality also uh, recommended hotels. Uh, also, we can recommend uh, from the list which we present is uh, Sirita Beach Resort and uh, Atali Beach Resort um, uh, Beach Hotel. Um, this, that's it. <laughs> Many so you know the Crete is so huge and uh, there are so many hotels in uh, Crete Island. So uh, it's sh we should check it and sometimes you can find the best offer. Even is this hotel you think it's expensive and it's luxury hotels? They give uh, good offers sometimes and you can find this balance between price and uh, quality. Thank you for your answer. Uh, second uh, question is uh, also regarding some recommendations. Uh, which hotels uh, you would recommend for lower budget clients, or like more economic clients? The hotels, uh, free stars hotels. You can uh, you can check for uh, apartments, some different apartments which uh, we have. Um, in um, our press list. Uh, for sure, you can uh, recommend uh, uh, Philoxenia Hotel Crete, uh, Dolphin, uh, Lisa Marie Hotel, and um, the Artemis Hotel. It's good, it could be suitable for uh, low budget tourists. Thank you. Uh, are there any hotels with heating pools outside in spring or autumn periods? Uh, yes, in Crete there are so many hotels with a heating pool. Uh, it's um, mostly it's a hotel. Okay, it's mostly luxury and five stars hotels, and um, mm, some of them are um, Elunda Hotel Beach and Elunda Bay hotels, which talk about. Uh, during the presentation, Dioscaf, Dios, um, 
um, domains of Lunda, they also have uh, um, uh, rooms with a private pool and the heated private pool. In uh, when you uh, make a reservation or looking for the hotels, uh, uh, there is room types with a private pool, so we can uh, send a request to clarify is a heated pool or not heated pool. Sometimes um, there is extra charge for heating in the pools, sometimes it's uh, in the price, so it's better to send a request and uh, we will check it with the hotel to inform you. Thank you for clarification. Uh, one more question. Uh, what other hotels or regions where you can meet less people from uh, Russia and more from West Europe? <laughs> okay, so these uh, hotels uh, which we were talking about is um, either star hotels and mostly they're European people. Um, what more uh, in uh, Eresim, no? Also, and um, okay. Now I think uh, that uh, it's uh, mix. So there is no uh, such as uh, Russian hotels or not Russian hotels. Uh, all hotels they are trying to uh, have different markets because uh, with the COVID situation they you can say they're suffering from not too many guests in this, uh, last year, you know, this uh, not so easy to have a reservation to come. And that's why um, we do not separate it like uh, Russian hotels or not. So for sure you can recommend Greek hotels because uh, they have uh, different um, markets. Iber Star Hotels and um, the big chains. So, e Radisson Hotel in CC Village, Calimera Criti also in CC Village. Um, that's it. Mm, thank you. Uh, also, there is one question uh, regarding some clarification. Uh, it says that a lot of countries uh, are requiring a negative uh, COVID test upon return to the home country. Where in Crete can those tests uh, be done? How long it takes to get the results? And uh, what uh, is the price approximately? So for now, I can say uh, that the test could be done in any medical centers, special medical centers for COVID test. And uh, for the price, um, I think it cost uh, around uh, 75 to 130 or 50, but it's depend on medical center. And usually um, it uh, not takes a lot of time to get the results. I think it's um, maximum two days to get the results. But um, for the summer time, of course, we need to clarify it again. And uh, probably we can recommend some um, medical centers um, if you have such a um, request where you can go and also to help tourists to find this place uh, during the holidays because we have representatives in uh, Crete Island, uh, so any question tourists have, we're always ready to help, to show them where to go and what to do. So for now, this information is like I said before, and if something changed, so of course we cannot be 100% for sure now. Yes, you're right, that the situation we have now, it can be changed. Uh, uh, before the season starts. So uh, if we have an, any information and if we uh, know that uh, for the season clients will need to get uh, tests uh, before returning home, for sure we will uh, make our efforts to have them uh, easiest way and the most comfortable way to do this 
tests and to get the answers in a shortest period. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for now, we cannot say anything. We expect that it will be maybe less. Uh, uh, less we hope that there them. was not Summer. test required at all when they will come back. Maybe it will be not so strict like it is now and uh, probably it will be like a normal time like everybody can travel without tests and hopefully <laughs> yes yes we're looking forward to this <laughs> so much uh okay so uh also we have uh, one question it's uh a, not uh, very short uh i will read it uh would you provide us with some additional information uh like what tourists uh, like in the hotels you uh, mentioned and what they uh, don't like. Uh, this um, guest uh, have, uh, has in mind uh, mostly all hotels you mentioned. Uh, he says that uh, by this info we uh, may try to decide for what kind of clients we can offer one or another hotel. So, uh, Maybe you remember from your experience uh, regarding those hotels you had in presentations, what are their advantages or disadvantages that clients uh, faced? So it's a little bit uh, um, very big question. And uh, so to, to say what exactly they are looking for First of all, it depends what the, if, for example, it's family, they're looking for a quiet and holidays. They don't want animation team around running and disturbing them. So it's better to choose any hotel uh, which will be in um, a region like uh, Elunda, in Ayus uh, Nikolos. It's more calm and uh, luxury resorts um, and um, um, it depends on um, the tourists, what they want to, what are their expectations for um, their holidays. As I could say that certainly in any case uh, you can recommend uh, Greek hotels. It's a big chain, they can uh, offer you uh, different um, hotels like uh, family hotels, boutique hotels. And also um, sometimes, um, for example, um, like a small tip, <laughs> uh, you book one hotel and uh, it's one chain. So in this chain, um, if, for example, your client is not very happy to stay in one hotel and he's disturbing by a noisy animation team or, for example, they're not happy with something else with the rooms, it, there is always a chance to change a, inside of this chain. So if it will be about uh, uh, for extra charge or not, it, it could be discussed uh, during the stay of uh, the clients, but it would be more easier because the hotel have um, more than um, uh, seven, uh, seven hotels only in Crete Island. So uh, this is like a, a small advice. If, for example, if they don't know what they're looking for and um, in during they stay, for example, they would like to change their mind and we could deal with this situation. So for this uh, question, really, I don't know how to answer because all people, they are different and some of them, they don't like, um, for example, spicy food and uh, some people don't like uh, to be on the sandy beach, they like purple, pur purple beach, or uh, they like uh, stones on the beach. So it's a little bit complicated. Um, maybe, maybe you can send us your request, and we will try to find um, the best um, option for your clients. Yes, uh, as I said, it was quite a. Uh, broad uh, question. Uh, one more is about uh, Alunda hotels, uh, Alunda Bay and Alunda Beach. Uh, when was last renovations uh, done in these hotels, if you remember? Um, unfortunately, I don't remember, but we can uh, 
clarified with the hotel. We can uh, keep the email of um, the agent which ask and we will uh, let we will check it with the hotel and we'll send the information. Yes, but so they do they do some small renovations every year because uh, you know this hotel it's uh, quite old and it's very famous uh, in all over the world, Lunde Bay and Lunde Beach. And uh, every year they do some small works there and depend on room type also, room category and um, not in general. They never do general full renovation because otherwise they have to close the resort and uh, just to renovate it. So we will check it and we'll answer it by email. Okay. Yes, so please, if anyone is interested in some more detailed information like uh, the year of renovation, please send a request uh, to our reservations and we will forward those requests and we will get the answer for you. Uh, one more question about the aqua parks. Uh, our hotels aqua parks are going to work during the season and then they are going uh, to start approximately. Aqua park is the hotels they are going to work but with um, s uh, some restrictions uh, like everywhere like to keep the distance so and they will not accept a lot of guests together at the same time. And um, uh, mostly aqua parks at the hotel, they start working when um, the hotel is open and it's uh, not um, not in the beginning of the season when um, they see that uh, they're almost uh, have um, half of hotel booked. And usually they start from the beginning when uh, the hotel open and they open aqua parks because it's a part of the hotel. So you, you can uh, see, uh, like I said before, that um, the best is uh, um, aqua parks are uh, in um, uh, Sirita Beach Resort, and uh, we we also mentioned uh, Greco Ten Marine um, Club Marine with a huge aqua park, and they even uh, some guests of uh, um, the hotels that stay at another hotel they come and visit um, Aqua Park in Grecote Marine Resort. That's a very nice place. Thank you for your answer. Actually, it was uh, the last question we have got. Uh, so I really would like to thank you for your presentation, for the reviewing the hotels, uh, spring and summer is coming and we really are keen on searching and finding the best options for different clients. So thank you one, one more time and hope to see you already this uh, season in Crete. Thank you once again and we are waiting for you in uh, Crete Island and I hope so this season will be better than the last season <laughs> and we have a uh, lot of guests and tourists in uh, the island. So be positive. And yes, waiting positive. for new guests. Thank you. Have a nice day all of you and uh, see you on the next webinar sometime. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.